In this video, let's take a look at how to make our contact page responsive. So I'll first start by going to the contact page. So I've already done that through the site manager. And what I'm going to do next is to create my breakpoint. So I'm going to create for 320 pixels. I'll go ahead and create for 768. That's 480 first. And um, create for 768 pixels. I'll click on OK and switch to my 768 pixels breakpoint. Now I'm going to go ahead to resize the first layer I have in here. So I'm going to change the size of this layer to 596 by 130 pixels. Let me get rid of this. Um, let me just undo it. Undo it once again. Move this out of this and get rid of this layer here. Now move this to hit the left top edge of um, my canvas. And I'm going to change the size of this layer. As I'm going to change it to 172 by 130 pixels. Let me get rid of that layer. Now I'm repositioning it. I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge of it. I'm going to go ahead to move this to hit the bottom edge as well. And I'm going to change the size of it. So let me just copy the size I'll be using. Now what I'm going to do next is to resize my objects I have in here. So to do that, I'll first move this a little bit to the bottom, expand this layer, move this test a little bit to the top and i'm going to change the size for it so i'm going to copy the size i'll be using for it so that is the size and i'm going to copy the size i'm going to go ahead to resize the size of my my um, contact field objects so let me just first start by resize on this particular object and i'll go ahead to reduce the size of this as well and i'll continue to reduce the size of this uh, let me just undo this so that I can get to the size. So, and I'll go ahead to reduce the size here as well. So let me just reduce this size. And I'm going to go ahead to move uh, my object a little bit, a little bit to the top, especially this test. Let me go ahead to reduce the height of my comments area. I'm going to go ahead to reduce the width of this. I'm going to apply the same width to the additional two fields here. I'll repeat the process for this one. And I'm going to reduce the width of this one. I'll go ahead and reduce the width of my contact area. And I'm going to make sure each and every time is positioned in it. So I'll go back and change the position of my contact area I think um, uh, let me just get it right so I reposition this one okay, let me just move it this way and I'm going to move this to this particular position I'll go ahead to reduce the width of this layer I have in here and I'm going to okay I think the height is okay so I'm done for this section. I'm going to switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint. I'm first going to change the size of my layer I have in here. And I'm going to go ahead to change the size of the blue layer as well. So I'm going to change this one and I'm going to move this to this particular position. So I'll go ahead and move this to hit the bottom edge of it. And I'm going to go ahead to expand this particular layer I have in here. And I'm going to change the size of the test I have here. So I'm going to change the size of this test and I'm going to move it to this position, making sure it is in the center of my layer I have here. I'm going to go ahead to rearrange the object I have here. So first start by resizing this and I'm going to resize this. I'll go ahead and resize this one as well. And I'm going to decrease the height a little bit to create room for the test beneath it. So I'm going to reduce this, move this a little bit to the top. Let me move it some few pixels to the top and I'm going to reduce the width of it. I'm going to reduce the width of this one as well. I'll copy the size of that one and use it for the rest. So I'm going to do it for this one too. And I'm going to reduce the width of this particular object here. Now I'm going to go ahead to reduce the form area. 
So that's where there's okay now right click on it make sure it is positioned in the center of my page now I'll go ahead and uh, expand the height of my layer so that I can create additional room for this particular master object now let me move it down a little bit and I think I need additional room here so I move it to about this position that's 7 by 10 8 1 so 8 by 10 8 1 pixels I'm going to go ahead to reduce the width of this I'll decrease the height a little bit I'm done with this section um, I think uh, there's too much space in here let me move this a little bit to the bottom and um, I'm going to go ahead to reduce the height and that's the size of this particular layer I'll move it to hit the bottom edge of my master object there and I'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. So I'll first start by resizing the first layer, which is going to be 320 by 97 pixels. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to make sure I hide it. So I'll come to my object manager and hide it. I'll move this to hit the bottom edge of it. I'm going to expand this. I'm going to move this test to about this position and I'm going to go ahead to reduce the width of it so I'll right click on it and make sure it is positioned in the center of my page now I'm going to expand this to the top and I'm going to move two of my radio buttons as well as the label to the top and I'm going to move this let me move this a little bit to the bottom now I'm going to move this this select on this and select on this as well I'm going to move it to about this position and I'm going to move this a little bit to the top and I'm going to reduce the width of it. And I'm going to move this. I think I have to create additional space. And so let me just minimize the height of this, move this to the bottom. I'm going to move this and this to this position. Making sure it is aligned properly to the left hand side of the objects there and I'm going to reduce the width of this to about um, 219 pixels and I'm going to expand this one to about this width I'm going to cover the new um, width for it which is 273 pixels and I'm going to apply to this one so 273 pixels I'm going to now copy the entire size and apply it to the layers below so I'll apply it to, I think um, that's too much so let me just reduce it manually here so this width is okay so let me copy this new width and apply to this additional object I have in here so I'm going to apply to this one also and I'm going to reduce the width of this particular object I have in here now I'm going to um, move this test a little bit to the top and I'm going to reduce the width of it as well as I'm going to move this a little bit to the top and I'll decrease the width of this a little bit now I'm going to reduce the width of this particular test I have in here so I can fit in here and I'm now going to go ahead to reduce the width of my form area so there's um let me just increase it make it 292 pixels I'm now going to right click on it, make sure it is centered in the layer. I'm going to reduce the height of it a little bit. I'm going to expand this layer, that's the height of this layer. And I'll expand it a little bit more. I think I moved it instead. Let me just move it back. Move this to the bottom to see if it's going to fit. It's not going to fit, so let me expand it once more. And I'm going to move this to this position. I'm going to right click on it and make sure it is centered in the layer I'm going to go ahead to reduce the width of this layer I have in here so I'm done with the contact test page and what I'm going to do next is to change the scope of my uh, preview and my pages so I'm going to go to tools I'll come to options and I'm going to go to publish and preview and I'm going to change the scope from current page to entire website so that when I preview it I can take a look at everything in my web browser I'll go ahead and click on OK and since the contact page contains scripts I think it will be useful to preview that page first and be able to navigate to the other pages so I'll hit on F5 
it takes a while to generate the pages and uh, it will be loaded in my browser so let me just open my browser here and as you can see we have that open here now let's go through to see if everything is okay so everything seems to be in place now let me go ahead and switch to my um before i continue i'll have to link my navigation items to my respective pages so i'll come to my project come to the master page double click on my navigation object and i'm going to go ahead to link them to their respective pages so i'm going to link this to the services go ahead and click on ok i'll link this one to the about us page and i'll link this to the frequently asked questions page i'll go ahead and link this one to the feedback that's the contact us page and i'll finally link the gallery page to the gallery page here now go ahead and click on ok click on ok make sure i save my project i'll come back and preview this in my browser again so i'm going to go ahead to open my browser let me just close this couple of tabs i have open here So uh, let's just hold on a second as it loads. Uh, it's going to load in our browser. So let's just get back and uh, I think we previewed the master page instead. So let's go to the contact test page and let's preview it from the contact test page. I'm going to go back to my browser and take a look at it here. So this is our contact test page. I'm going to start to navigate from the contact test page to the gallery page. Everything is okay here. Now to the fact page. Let's frequently ask question page and uh, we have our about our company page and we continue to our services page and then finally we go to the home page everything seems to be in place now now let's go ahead and take a look at the responsive aspect of our project so i'll switch to a responsive mode and i'm going to change the width of this one to 768 pixels first go ahead and increase the width a little bit so i can see it properly I'm going to navigate to the services page. Everything is okay. It looks like we have some little issue with our footer here, so you might have to correct that. So now let's come back to our project and um, take a look at our master page and navigate to the 768 section and see if everything is okay here. Everything seems to be in place. Let's go ahead and preview this again. So let's just hold on a second as it's going to open in our browser. Just take a look at this. I think I opened the master page. Let me just, uh, let me cancel this and rather open the Okay, that's okay. Let's just take a look at the home page. Now let's go back to our responsive mode. So we are going to switch to our 768 pixels. And uh, it seems we still have that issue pending. Let's just take a look at other breakpoints and see if everything is okay. So we have for 768, there's a default breakpoint. This is for 480 and this is 320. We have our 320. Let's take a look at the bottom. Everything seems to be okay now. 768, we will have to take a look at it again. So come back to my project and I'm going to go to the master page. And I'm going to come to 768 pixels breakpoints. I'll double click on this. What I'm going to do here is to come to settings and I'm going to change this and check this one. Reduce this to about 27. Do the same for this one and I'll make sure I have the appropriate image set as the background image. So that's the footer BG. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll come back to my index page and I'm going to preview this in the browser. So let me go ahead and open my browser here. Let me close this tab and I'll copy this link and just paste it in here. Hit on enter and um, it looks like we still have an issue here. Let me suggest take a look at that again and uh, correct it so this is repositioned here let me come to settings and um, this time around let me just increase the width of it with one pixels and uh, one pixels for this also 
And let me just change the color to the color of the um, page background. So I click on OK and let's take a look at this again in our browser. Let me just close this page, copy this, paste it in here, hit on enter. Okay, so we have it corrected now. So now let's switch to our 480 breakpoint. So this is our design for our 480 pixels breakpoint, and uh, this is for 320 pixels breakpoint. So now let's continue to our services page, and uh, let's make sure everything is correctly here. So we have uh, some form of that here so let's go back to our default master page and um, correct that so we double click on this one come to styles come to settings and um, we're going to change this so let's just change the color of this to the background color so that we don't see it when we preview our page so we come back to the services page and preview this in the browser So here we go. We have this is our services page. Everything seems to be okay. Now let's go to the responsive mode again. So this is the services page. I'm going to switch to 768 pixels breakpoint. Everything is okay. I'm going to switch to 480 pixels design and uh, continue to the 320 pixels design as well. Everything seems to be in place. Now I'll continue to the about our company page so everything is fine here i reduce the size and uh, you see everything switching to its res respective um, breakpoints so now let's continue to a frequently asked question page and uh, the same thing over here let's continue to have um, the feedback is not going to display because of its script in it so you are going to skip that and continue to the gallery page so everything is okay here and for us to preview the feedback page all we need to do is to come to that page and uh, preview it in the browser or if we have a local web server on our system all we need to do is to just export our project files into the server and use that to display so this is our contact form or our feedback form and uh, let's just copy it and uh, paste it in our responsive mode and take a look at it so as you can see we have our contact or our feedback form when I resize the width of it, it adapts to the size of our browser. So that is it for our contact page. Before we um, conclude our project, let's go ahead and link our footer navigation object here. So we we'll come back to our project, come to the master page and uh, we we'll double click on our navigation object in the footer, select the home page to the services page and that's going to go to the services and uh, we have our about our company over here about us next one is frequently asked questions that will be the fact page and um, feedback is also going to go to the contact us and finally we are going to link the gallery page so in all that is how to create a very simple website just like this and um, I think you've learned so much on this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.